crafty fam, it's Alex Vanover and welcome back to my craft room. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute glitter and vinyl ornament using glitter, vinyl, and your Cricut. So let's get going. So the first thing that you need to do to get started with your glitter ornament is to remove the top of the ornament. And the best way to do that is to pull the wires up into the top and then pull the entire top off. Then we're gonna be using polycrylic on the inside of our ornaments. You will see tons of different videos with tons of different suggestions for the products you can use but honestly guys polycrylic is by far the highest quality if you want your ornaments to last year over year I highly recommend using polycrylic I just have mine in a condiment bottle you can buy these condiment bottles at Walmart um, all different kinds of places but this makes it way easier to actually stick the nozzle inside the ornament because polycrylic is very sticky so it's gonna get everywhere if you don't do something to like easily contain it you can also use the kinds of syringes that they give you for kids medicine um, it's easy to suck up some polycrylic in the syringe and shoot that into the ornament as well. So you have some options to do it um, a few different ways. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open up my condiment bottle and squirt in, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon or so, or well, no, probably more like a teaspoon of polycrylic. And it's gonna be kind of white and milky. So that's how you're going to know where the polycrylic has been inside the ornament. Then I'm just gonna take the ornament and turn it sideways. And I'm just gonna slowly coat the polycrylic all the way around the outside of the ornament. Some people will tell you to shake the ornament, um, but I don't like to do that because I think it creates a lot of bubbles. And then you're gonna start tipping the spout of the ornament down. And as you do that, you can um, put a two ounce portion cup underneath your ornament. And that way you can slowly drain everything out, but you wanna keep on turning so that you continue coating the inside of your ornament. Now, one of the keys here is that you don't want too much polycrylic to stay inside your ornament because if you do that, your glitter will slide all over the place. In fact, you wanna let your polycrylic dry for a few minutes before you even bother putting any glitter in it. So I have a second two ounce portion cup. These are super handy for making ornaments and all different kinds of crafts really. Um, but I have a clean one that has no polycrylic in it and I'm gonna set my ornament upside down in one of these two ounce portion cups so that it can drain out while I'm working on the decal. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'll show you how I prepare my decal. So next, while your ornament is draining, you can start working on your decal. I'm gonna be using StarCraft HD vinyl for my decal, and I highly recommend that you pick something that is not super intricate. If you start getting these fonts with these huge glyphs and stuff like that, it's definitely a lot more challenging to transfer that onto the ornament. So I'm gonna be using clear medium tack transfer tape from 143 vinyl that is my absolute favorite. I'm going to pull out some of the transfer tape like this. I'm actually gonna cut off a little square before I place it on my decal and I'll show you why in just a minute. I'm also gonna cut it a little larger than my decal, which I will also explain when I apply it. So I'm gonna take my transfer tape and I'm actually going to stick it to my table real quick just to get away some of the tackiness. You guys will see that applying um, decals to completely round ornaments is actually fairly challenging. So taking away some of the stickiness from your transfer tape makes that just a little bit easier. Then I'm gonna apply some transfer tape all the way over top of my design and I'll use a squeegee to burnish it. Then when I pull it back up, I wanna make sure to pull my whole decal with it. The next thing that I'm gonna do to make this a little bit easier as I actually may trim it down a little bit, but I'm also going to um, trim the edges a little bit because you don't want a ton of material all the way around your decal. But we're actually gonna cut slits in this decal, or excuse me, in this transfer tape, so that as we push our decal onto our ornament, it's gonna be a little bit easier to um, flex it around an entire sphere. You guys will see that um, this is by far the most challenging part of Christmas ornaments is getting the decals on, you know, a straight, nice looking manner can be really challenging. All right, so I've got a nice little square here and then I'm gonna take my um, scissors and I'm just gonna put small slits in the backing of the vinyl, not in the vinyl itself, all the way around my decal. I may end up having to cut a few more, but we'll just start with this. And so there you have it. And I meant to tell you guys this before, if you are a beginner to Christmas ornaments, the flat round ornaments that look like this are a really great starting place. So if you're finding the totally round ornaments really challenging, or if you just want something that's gonna be a lot easier, these ones with the flat surface are a lot easier to use. And the process is exactly the same. It's just a lot simpler. But either way, now that our decal is ready, we'll go ahead and add the glitter to our ornament. 
So the best way to do that is actually to use one of these fun little funnels. These are essential oil funnels that I buy from Amazon. I will link them in the description for you, but they make the glitter so much cleaner than just trying to dump it into your ornament. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this funnel in the top of your ornament, and this is where you're gonna shake the glitter down into it. I'm gonna be using um, Starcraft glitter in Tropical Punch. I love this dark red for Christmas colors. I'm just gonna open the pour side and shake some in. You can always add more glitter if you want. I add maybe, I don't know, a teaspoon and a half or so. Kind of depends on the ornament. Maybe we'll start with about that much. So that's how much glitter I have in my ornament. I know that's not terribly descriptive. I would say it's maybe a tablespoon and a half or so. Then I'm gonna take my essential oil funnel and kind of shake any remaining glitter I have down into the um, ornament. And by the way, I do not mix up my funnels between glitter colors. Once you put glitter into these funnels, it's very, very hard to get it out. So I tend to use the same funnels for the same colors and I do save them year to year. So there is a way to um, save them so that you're not going through quite so many. So then you're just gonna turn your ornament sideways and you're gonna start swirling the glitter around inside the ornament. And you'll see in all the spots where the polycrylic is well coated, it will stick beautifully. Like I said, you can always go back and add more glitter, no big deal. Another thing that you can do is you can lightly tap the sides of your ornament as you're putting poly, or as you're swirling the glitter around, and that will get off some of the excess so that you continue using it. So we still have a little bit of the top of our ornament to go, so I'm gonna add my funnel back into my ornament and add a bit more glitter. All right. That should get us plenty. And then I can kind of turn it almost so that the spout is facing down again. And once you start um, getting polycrylic and um, mixing glitter in it, the glitter is not the same after it comes out of the ornament because it has touched the polycrylics. I do not put glitter that has been in my ornament back inside my container. So now I've just got the spout pointing almost completely down into my two ounce portion cup. And I'm just continuing to spin it and tap it so that any last glitter will come out. And it will also coat the spout of of my ornament with glitter. All right, y'all, it's looking pretty good. That um, tropical punch just coated this ornament beautifully. So now that I have this ornament totally coated with glitter, I'm gonna leave the top off for probably the next 24 hours or so. You wanna try to let all the polycrylic dry inside the ornament. Obviously, you can't touch the inside of the ornament to know when it is dry, but um, I'm gonna leave the top off for about 24 hours. So I'm gonna go back to my little bit cleaner two ounce portion cup and I'm gonna put my ornament there sideways so that I can place the decal on the top of the ornament. All right, and then once that's done, we'll go ahead and peel the backing away from our vinyl. And you wanna watch for any little pieces that try to stay on the backing of your vinyl. Just make sure that those come off on the transfer tape. So then once this is ready, you can bring the ornament in close and I'm actually gonna tip the um, top of it toward me so that I can make sure that this is centered. So then the way that I'm gonna apply my decal is I'm gonna put one finger on each side and kind of hold it in this U shape like this as I, head it to as I push it towards the ornament. And I'm gonna try to get the center um, pushed down first and then I will worry about the rest of the decal. And basically, as soon as the center touches, I will take my fingers away from the sides, and then I'm gonna work in sections across my decal. So first I'm gonna start kind of in the center, like this to get my transfer tape down on my ornament. And then I'm gonna start working the top. And there are definitely deep slits between each line. And that's just gonna allow me to flex the transfer tape for each section of vinyl a little bit better. And I'm really just gonna work it with my fingers for the most part, cause that's the easiest way that I have found to do it. And then I'll pull this last section. I might need one more little slit in between these two. And really y'all, like I said, this is kind of a process. It's just kind of a um, trial and error sort of thing. You kind of get a groove down, especially the more of these ornaments that you do, and it gets a whole lot easier. And then another tip that I have for you is as you get vinyl stuck down on the ornament, you can go ahead and pull the transfer tape away from that section so that you don't have as much to work with. So I'm just going to pull this back. go. So once you think that you have everything stuck down, I'll go ahead and pull the transfer tape back. 
It gets a little bit tricky when you have all these slits cut in it, but that's okay. Even if you have to take it off in pieces, that's better than messing up your decal. Again, this is StarCraft HD vinyl on my ornament, and I love using this stuff for ornaments because it's super easy to weed even these fine, intricate pieces. So one last tip for you um, is that after you have let your ornament dry for 24 hours and you believe that your polycrylic is dry, of course you're going to need to put the top back in the ornament. So typically what you'll wanna do is you wanna pull the wires up inside the top, push the top on, and then push the wires back through to make sure that it's nice and secured. But another thing that you can do is you can actually cut these wires quite a bit shorter um, because if your polycrylic is not dry or if there's just not as much glitter at the the top, the wires can scratch away some of the glitter um, when they come back down into the ornament. So I highly recommend snipping those off before you put it back on the top. But I definitely recommend letting your polycrylic dry long enough and that will prevent a lot of that from happening. So just another pro tip for you guys in case you um, haven't done these before. If we haven't already connected on social media, I would love to see what you're crafting. So if you're on Instagram, please use the hashtag DIYAlex for any of the crafts that you post using any of my tutorials. And if you want to connect with me on social media, you can find me at DIY Alex Vanover on pretty much all social platforms. And I will also put direct links down in the description of this video so that they're super easy to find. And if you haven't already, please click right here to subscribe to the DIY Alex YouTube channel. Scroll down just a little bit and ring the bell right next to subscribe so that you never miss when I upload a new video. I hope we can craft again soon.